Well, I might face the minus. This should burn your britches a bit. I learned from the Department of Water Vehicles that starting in the year 2020, you have to have a so-called enhanced driver's license to uh, fly anywhere other than uh, between places inside the United States. And it might include flying within country too, I don't know. I don't think so, according to what I've read, but... Anyway, so I looked it up, and here it is, Western Hemisphere Travel Initiative. Never heard of it before today. WHTI is Joint Department of State and Department of Homeland Security DHS plan to implement a key 9-11 mission recommendation and the statutory mandates of the Intelligence Reform and Terrorism Prevention Act of 2004, IRTPA. IRTPA, in part, required the DHS and DOS to develop and implement a plan to require all travelers, U.S. citizens, and foreign nationals alike to present a pa either a passport or other acceptable document that denotes identity and citizenship when entering the United States. Was the goal of requiring secure documents? The goal is to strengthen border security while facilitating entry in the United States for U.S. citizens, legitimate international travelers, making the process more efficient and convenient. That is a lie. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. If you want to strengthen border security, you can start by building a wall. Mr. President, please build the wall. What types of documents are acceptable for entry into the United States via air? All U.S. citizens can present a valid U.S. passport, trusted traveler program card, Nexus, Century, or Fast, U.S. military identification card when traveling on official orders, U.S. merchant marine document when traveling in conjunction with official maritime business. Note that children are also required to present their own passport when traveling by air. Note the Indian tribal car cannot be used for air travel. That's very interesting. Requirements for lawful permanent residents in the United States are not changed by its implementation of WHTI. Lawful permanent residents must continue to present valid permanent resident card. A passport is not required. So what type of documents are accepted for entry into the United States via land and sea? U.S. citizens can present a valid U.S. passport, passport card, enhanced driver's license. That's what I was told to get. Trusted traveler program card, Nexus Century or Fast, U.S. military identif identification card when traveling on official orders, and blah blah blah. We went through all that. Ah, uh, so let's take a look at the facts on this. This burns me up. I have to go through all this hassle and it doesn't stop what's happening at our border. That's allowed to go on and on. Mr. President, build that wall. Western Hemisphere Travel Initiative facts. Notice this is U.S. Customs and Border Protection under the Department of DHS. Basics, what is it, whom does it affect, and when does it go into effect? The Air Portion of Western Hemisphere Travel Initiative requires some exceptions. Citizens of the United States, Canada, Mexico, and B Bermuda to present passport to enter or depart the United States when arriving by air or from any part of the Western Hemisphere. When was this implemented? Phase 1 as of January 23, 2007. U.S. citizens and citizens of Canada, Mexico, and Bermuda 
traveling by air between U.S., Canada, Mexico, Central and South America, the Caribbean, and Bermuda are required to present a valid passport to enter or depart U.S. That's phase one. Phase two, as of June 1, 2009, U.S. and Canadian citizens who enter U.S. at land and seaports within the Western Hemisphere are required to present a WHTI compliant document such as valid passport, U.S. passport card, trusted travel program card, or enhanced driver license. Ver verbal claims of citizenship and identity alone are no longer sufficient to establish identity and citizens citizenship for entry into the United States. So, here we have it. You and I have to go through all this blasted hassle. Obviously thought by uh, liberals in the uh, Bush administration. This goes all the way back to Schwab. <sighs> Meanwhile, the border's still open. The illegals are still streaming over it. Once they get here, they get everything set up for them. Car, money, housing, you name it. Unbelievable. Mr. President, sir, get that border wall built ASAP. It won't affect this, but at least it will uh, make it a lot harder for those who stream across our border illegally to get here. Well, why should I go through all this hassle when they can stream right across our border unimpeded and unnoticed? It just doesn't make any sense. Now, there you have it. Wait, so this should burn your uh, back in pretty hot, shall I say. Right. My brother-in-law told me this was done under the shrub, and it sure was. Dates all the way back to the shrub. It's got a bunch of facts on this page. So, you're uh, if you're a traveler, your life's about to get harder, and the illegals are still streaming across the border, and getting set up with this, that, and something else and getting invited to uh, safe houses and be getting called heroes by uh, so-called news organizations like the Cannabis News Network. Maybe I should call it the Criminal News Network instead. There you have it, folks. Your life's about to get more complicated. I'm Artifacts of Mars.